Hi everyone, it's meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Thanks for jumping on to clicktohouston.com. Another warm day today. We likely hit right around the record, which is 85. 84 is what we're forecast for today. If we hit it, that's three days in a row where we've seen temperatures about 12 degrees above where we should be this time of year. 72 is where our high should be. We may not hit that until we get almost close to midnight tonight. So you get an indication of just how warm it is outside. Very breezy as well. Headed out to the Cougs game tonight at TDECU. Big one against Louisville Cardinals. 7 o'clock kickoff. We'll see temperatures there in the mid 70s, only falling into the low 70s as we get towards the fourth quarter. The exact track's quiet for us aside for some clouds, but we're already starting to see our big storm system take shape. Area of low pressure in between, let's say Salt Lake City and just outside of the Rocky Mountains and western Colorado. Lots of snow from there up towards Wyoming. Going to be a major snowmaker from there all the way up towards the upper Midwest. Places like outside of Minneapolis could be looking at upwards of about a foot of snow when it's all said and done. Big dip in the jet stream as well. The warm air concentrating out ahead of that, and that's what's been on top of us for the last couple of days. As you can see, this is why we haven't seen any rain or even a whole lot of cloud cover. A lot of dry air stuck over much of southeast Texas, but there's our low kind of churning its way through, and we've got a lot of cold air that's going to be building in behind this, and that's what will move in here as we get into the weekend. So let's take the timing, starting with this afternoon as we go in through right about, let's say, dinner time. We'll see the temperature still in the 70s through early tomorrow morning. Could see a couple of quick showers along the coast in the morning, but still very warm start in the low 70s. And then as the front starts to approach by about 1 o'clock, some lead out showers, maybe even a couple of thunderstorms out ahead of that. But the line itself will be pushing through the metro area by, let's say, about 4 or 5 o'clock into the afternoon. So keep that in mind for your afternoon commute tomorrow, maybe running into some heavier showers and then a couple of thunderstorms, which we haven't seen in the forecast for a little while now. Temperatures will be changing as well. As we get to about 6, 7 o'clock, that'll clear the coast. And then watch the cooler air start to build in behind. We go from the mid-60s by about 6, 7 o'clock quickly into the 50s and then 40s by early Saturday morning. And through the afternoon, expect it to be very breezy, blustery, sunny skies. But the temperatures will certainly feel a little cooler with the winds uh, relatively on the strong side for our Saturday afternoon. Now, once we get into Sunday, another chilly start to the morning, but the winds relax. Sunday should be a perfect fall day. We'll see another quick warm up as we get into early next week. Should be dry through Monday, Tuesday, though. So if you're traveling out that way, uh, getting out for the Thanksgiving travel, don't see any big problems with that. Another cold front slides through here on Wednesday. Not a real big rainmaker, but still drying things out for the most part as we get in towards your Thanksgiving forecast. We'll see another system slide through here on Black Friday. Early, I think you should be okay as you get in towards uh, the afternoon and evening hours for shopping. That's when you run into some of the rain. Speaking of breezy, cooler night for our game of the week, Cy Ranch versus Katy. Saturday games, if you're headed out, it will be sunny, perfect tailgating weather, weather, but a little on the cool side as well, especially if you're going to A&M watching UT San Antonio. 11 a.m. kickoff likely will be on the breezy side. Here's your 10-day forecast. We'll go from 84 today to about 62 for a high on Saturday. Overnight lows into the 40s, both Saturday and Sunday morning. Same thing as you get into Monday morning. Then looking at a little bit of a bump back up into the mid-70s. And then a chance for some showers starting Wednesday. Slight chance on Thursday morning. And then we'll see another system slide through here as we get in towards Black Friday afternoon and evening. All in all, not a bad a week to spend as you get out the door and do your Thanksgiving travel. That's your forecast from right here at clicktohouston.com. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll keep you updated throughout the rest of the week this week and get you set for your weekend and your, all your travel plans next week. You can always find all your weather not only here, but across the rest of the country right here at clicktohouston.com.